yeah. circle. Well, Luke, congratulations on your uh, debut performance. Thank you. Yeah. Talk to me about it. Yeah, it was good. It was. Uh, it's been a long time coming. You know, I've uh, purposely taken my time before in the amateur ranks. I wanted to really build up a, a real stable of weapons. It was good. I was super excited for this fight. If I'm honest, like I said in the cage, being under the bright lights, my pro debut, the amount of support that I had come out, it was. Uh, Overwhelming, to say the least. Do you feel under pressure because of the amount of people that are here? What's, what's this going to be? If I'm honest, not necessarily under pressure. It was more of a, wow, this is it. You know, I've waited so long for the pro debut, and it's finally here. And I think just that, just the pressure that I put on myself, you know, from no one else. I know that the family support that I have. If I if I won, they'd love me. If I lost, they'd love me. You know, so it wasn't that. It wasn't the pressure from them. It was just the pressure I put on myself. I hold, my, I hold myself to a high standards being from the team that I am, and I just think I, I didn't quite get all of my skills across. I got the takedown, it was a little bit sloppy. It's the first time I've ever shot for a double. <laughs> if you notice, I shot for the double, went straight to my bread and butter with a body lock. Um, yeah, it was good. My striking, I didn't get off what I wanted to, but once I got down on the ground, I controlled him, I put the pressure on, I dominated on there, I waited. Waited a little bit too long maybe to get the finish, but I got the finish with elbows. I promised everyone I'm going to start using my elbows now, and that's how I finished it. That's a brutal it. finish. That's it, yeah. Gareth. Gareth is a tough guy, man. He's a tough guy. Had a good amateur background. Came in with, came in with more, more experience than me in the cage, but like I said, I'm, I'm different. You know, I'm different. I'm not a sloppy, light heavyweight. I'm, I pride myself on my speed, my creativity. I think... I've got something that no one else has in a light heavyweight division. I've got, I've got just something different. I, I try to fight like a smaller guy, but I carry for a power that they don't have. So, yeah, I had fun in there. I got the W, and that's all that matters. Well, you've got a comfortable good team, obviously, team tight. Um, yes, sir. You know, who do you look up to in the gym that, that inspires you? Dang, listen, we've got, we've got some amazing so got fighters some in that gym. Fighters in that gym. You know, we've got a plethora of guys that from the UFC to Bellator to UCMMA. It doesn't necessarily, on, doesn't necessarily matter on the show that they fight on, it's the caliber of athlete they are. You know, the mentality that we have in Titan is uh, the hardest working gym. I've been to many gyms in London now, many gyms in the UK full stop. I've traveled around the world, gone to the States. We've got a work ethos that I haven't seen anywhere else. You know, and we push each other. With the lighter guys push me, the heavier guys push them. I've got coaches like Brad Pickett. Mickey Papas, my coaches, my boxing coach Daly, my striking coach uh, Ollie, my Jiu Jitsu coach Dan Strauss. I'm going to do loads of shout outs, but yeah, man. So I've, I've, I've got an abundance of people to look at and think, yeah, one day, one day, as long as I do what they do, Nathaniel Wood, as long as I do what Nathaniel does, I'm going to get to the UFC. You know, uh, my biggest, my biggest. The person that I look up to the most is my dad. You know, he's here now. He's actually in the background now. I'm not just saying it because he's there, but you know, he, he installed in me a work ethic that I, I transfer in all life, not just in the cage, but outside the cage. And the activities that I partake in in life is, yeah, he's my inspiration. And in the team, man, we're the strongest team. No one's beating us. No one's beating us. Now you've got the pro debut over the mm -hmm. When do you want to fight next? Well, <laughs> I'd like to fight next week, man. I'd like to fight next week. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. When do you think you'll, you'll be at? Realistically, Realistically I think fight star in May. Yeah. I think that's going to be my next show. I'm going to do some kickboxing fights beforehand. I, I want to get one or maybe even two in. Just work on my strike a little bit more, you know. Uh, do some more jiu-jitsu competitions. But in terms of my second professional battle, I want to do that in May for fight star. Then fight again in July time. Then again, maybe in December. Then I'm looking at Bellator or Cage Warriors for next year. You know, like I said, the the light heavyweight pool is slim. The guys, no disrespect, they're good, but like I said, I feel like I have something that they don't have, and I'm ready to test them skills. I want to fight the best in the world to be the best in the world. So I've got the charisma. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Before we go, um, yes. give a shout out all your sponsors and uh, social media so people can mm. follow your journey. Definitely the boring part where people tune off. <laughs> no, so. <laughs> Shout out to my sponsors, Big Array for the clean and skin and fight game. Head over to www.bigarray.co.uk forward slash Luke Trainer, you know, to get a little bit of a discount in there. Uh, I want to shout out to Moolah, Fred, my man. This is a new sponsor that's, joined, this, this is a new sponsor that's just joined on. We're going to take over the clothing apparel, everything gym wear, everything MMA wear. Come to these guys. This is starting live in May, so look out for big things then. And then finally, Reach a Peak. Guys at Reach a Peak, it's a, it's a huge media site now. You know, they're growing. Joseph Daniels is the CEO there. Johnny Cook, who's the head of photography there, they're doing big things. All those guys are supporting massively. You know, without those guys, I wouldn't be able to train full time and, and do what I love to do. So, big shout out to those guys. Instagram, hook me up, LH Trainer. Um, yeah, and uh, listen, guys, thank you for the support from all the way around, around, all the way around the world. I've got guys in Australia, in the UK, in America. I've got so much love in my life. Life is beautiful because of them. MMA is great, but because of them, 
Man, I'm a happy guy. Listen, I'm a happy guy. You're a great commentator in media. <laughs> <laughs> I talk too much. I've got to no, run him out. That's what it is. Thank you very much for speaking. We've never got more people to speak. Thank you. No, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet my friend. Pleasure to meet my friend.